Peel, brother, help me. Long live Hasselback. No! You're probably asking yourself, what is Hasselback? It's not only the most flavorful potato recipe ever made, but it's also extremely easy to make. I will not only show you this fantastic side dish, but I will also show you some Swedish trade secrets. Okay, picture this. Thinly sliced potatoes, crispy on the edges, infused and basted with buttery goodness. It's the best potato recipe you can make. So you start by preheating an oven to 200 degrees Celsius. That's 400 degrees Fahrenheit for my American friends. You can peel the potato, but I often prefer to leave the skin on. I think it adds an extra texture to the finished product. If you want to be super true to the original, then yes, you should peel them. While deciding on what to do, you can try to juggle the potatoes in front of the camera. It didn't work as well as I planned, so instead take 9 normal sized potatoes and wash them under cold water. I use a potato scrubber, but you can just rinse them and use a towel if you don't have one. The first secret is that you don't need to use a wooden utensil when slicing the potato. As you can see, here I use a normal hanger from the wardrobe. So don't be all like, But Martin, that's not the correct way to do It's okay to use whatever you can find as long as you don't cut through the entire potato. It's that simple. Hello by the way. My name is Martin, it's super nice to meet you. Did you happen to spot secret number two by the way? When you have made slits in the potato in one direction, turn the potato either 45 or 90 degrees and then slit it again. This will create a lot more surface area for the oven to make it crispy. If I remember correctly, I believe it was Leif Manneström, a Swedish chef, who showed me this trick. That's all the prep work we need to do, so let's move on to the stove and prepare the butter and oil that we will use. Here's the third secret. We heat the butter before putting it on the potatoes. This way we get an even distribution of salt, pepper and paprika along with a brown nutty tasting butter. Add 50 grams of butter along with half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of paprika powder. Mix the combine and then you add some of the oil butter to an oven safe baking dish. Line up the potato with the slit side up and add some of the mixture on them as well. All that's left to do now is to put them in the oven and let it go for a full hour. When 20 minutes have passed, we take out the potato from the oven and add some of the butter oil. At this point, we also add a few pinches of breadcrumbs. And a not too unhealthy, healthy layer of Parmesan cheese. We put the potato back in the oven to let it finish up. When the potatoes are fork tender, we can baste the potatoes with some of the leftover liquid in the pan. This would go perfectly with my porter stew. If you have not watched it yet, here's a link for you. 